How's it going, everyone? It's me, Craig Mitz, joined by Rhys James, and welcome to the big debate. But this time, it's kind of like a pre-season debate. Yeah, we're not yeah. really putting our hearts into it too nah, much. Yeah, not, it's not going to be fierce. We don't yeah. want to get injured. You know, we, we're not we're not going for an eight-bit debate. We're not going to go for the points. We're just no gonna, chance. We're just going to make our points. Yeah. And see, you know, just have a little discussion about it, kind of. Yeah, mainly that's just because there's no one here to mediate. But yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. All right, so expectations for the 2016-2017 season. This is what the debate's going to be about. Uh, we've split into four categories. So we've got, you know, the league, top four. Is that, you know, is that an expectation? The FA Cup, how far should we get in that? The League Cup and, of course, the Holy Grail, the Champions League. So I've split into four categories. Yeah. We'll kick it off uh, with the league. What is your expectations for the league? Now, interesting question. I think... We should definitely be, I'd expect us to be challenging for top four, maybe for top three again. We should be up there in amongst it. I don't expect us to challenge for the league again. Everyone's going to improve. We've got to bear in mind that last year, yeah. bear in mind, Leicester won the league and we came third. Yeah. Right, A lot of teams were not up to their best last year. Chelsea are going to get better. They've got a new manager and they're signing a lot of players. United are going to get better. Same reasons. City are going to be better. Yeah. You know, even, even Everton are going to be a lot better with their new manager. So, Reese, are we not going to be better? We haven't made as drastic a oh, change. Thanks, mate. Sorry, mate. That's all right. Um, it's a debate, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we haven't made as drastic a change yeah. as those teams have. Yeah. So, I expect us to remain as good and slightly improve with our so, depth. So, shouldn't, but so they're shouldn't all we like then, dr should, drastic changes. Shouldn't like, we then have an advantage because there aren't any yes, drastic changes? You're We're right. Gelled, our players know each other. You know, the, the likes of Man United, Chelsea, these teams you mentioned, new managers, new philosophies, new players need to get to know the surroundings, need to get to know the training grounds at Cobham and Carrington. All of these <laughs> different things. They need to familiarise themselves with the staff, you know, get used to the diets. All of this, so many, even those little intricate changes that need to take place. Whereas our players, they know Hotspur way, mate. They know Jane in the canteen. Really? You I know Jane in the canteen. How about that? They know what they're getting chefed up before the game. We think right? Kante Everybody won't be there. as good at Chelsea because he doesn't know the cleaners. Mate. He's a quality footballer. What about the fact that he has like racist fans in the crowd? What you ever thought of that, mate? Interesting. You know, yeah, the fact that, you know... They, they, no, they, they, they like their own. They, they like might their not own. let him on trains. They're they're very, you know, that's what happens. He's though, not getting trains, mate. He's not getting changed. He's getting choppered into every Eric game Aaron onto Eric the pitch. Got pictured on the train, mate. You didn't see I know, but they're humble lads. Yeah, Kante, Kante won the league and has immediately gone to Chelsea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big time. Pathetic. Yeah. Um, no, but what you've got to bear in mind is I am slightly concerned, although they all know each other, and they've all played together, and they know what Tottenham's like, yep. they do also have the failure of the end of last season Ooh. running through their veins and their <laughs> minds, and they'll be thinking about that, going, we all did this together here. They're um, squad. They also all had pretty dire Euros uh, competitions, except no for uh, yes, except for he was one of the best actually. Except for Larice and Ben Davies. Ben Davies will come back with his head held high. Yep. Larice will probably be a bit gutted. Um, even head Lamella, high, he had a parade. Um, even yeah, yeah, even Lamella will probably be uh, a little bit gutted to have lost in the final. So I don't know. They probably all, but they'll be working hard. They'll be trying to forget that. But I think as much as it plays in our favour that they all know each other, have played together, got good chemistry. As we've talked as we've talked about chem. before. Yep. Uh, and they know like the staff and all that, whatever you want to talk about. They do also have the thing running through their heads that this is the same group of people who got so close. Well, and you know what? At the end of I'm last going year. to disagree with you. Okay, I'm going to say that we're going to challenge for the title. I feel like we are probably, other than unfortunately Arsenal, going to be the most gelled. Our players know each other. Uh, they know our manager's philosophy. I think that gives us an extreme advantage. I don't think we're going to win it. I'm aiming for top. Top two. I'm going for it. Okay, and I'm you expect us to get top two? I mean, I think if Harry King keeps his shooting boots on, Deli Ali, I mean, it's only going to get better. Eric Dyer relishing that, that deeper role. We've got Dembele. We've even enforced our midfield, the likes of Mason and that, who couldn't. Every time he stepped in to do a job, every time Dembele wasn't there, it wasn't yeah. enough. We got one Yama no, we did. Now. We dropped a lot of points last year from that. One Yama like hasn't proven himself for us yet, but it's Poch. He's a quality Premier League They've player. They've worked together before. So, yeah, We've got the best I do out believe before. that is a huge. That is a I huge. I feel like signing. we've just filled in the gaps, mate. I Fair feel enough. Like we've got a backup striker now, and that's Manson. why. And that's why I think with the increased competition for top four places, that's why I do still think we'll get top four, or at least be very close to getting that's top what four. What you said a couple of weeks ago off camera, mate. Oh, I was saying I think we'll get fifth, but we we hadn't signed uh, we hadn't signed Nkudu. Oh, we haven't signed Nkudu. Oh, I've got him out already. Nkudu. 
That's getting us top four. All right. Well. Fourth place. I think, no, to be honest, I think we might get fifth by <laughs> one point or goal difference because Spurs. Nah, I think we've got to go for it. I think we're going to go for the league. We will go for I it. I think we're going to surprise a lot of people. I, I believe in Poch's philosophy. I think the players know exactly what they... The first season was like, all right, we're, 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 we're trying to understand this philosophy, how it works, this extreme punishment of training relentlessly every day in their heat. Uh, it's not really heat in, in England. <laughs> Just but, today. Today is the hottest day of the year. Yeah, England. but... Um, then the second season, it started to come to fruition. They understood it. Oh, this is what it means to be extremely fit and lean and Harry Kane's looking m m more muscular than ever. I mean, a couple of seasons ago when, I, when he made his debut, he was chubby. Yeah. And I think Rogan third cheeks. season now, I think third season now, it's like, this is it. Third time's a charm. We're going for it and we're really going to go for it. And the only thing that's probably going to stop us is Pep Guardiola. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's my opinion. And you know what? Contrary to my own point one minute ago, potentially the failure of last season will be what does it and inspires them. Yeah. Because they'll be thinking, we cannot let that feeling happen again. Reece, we cannot get there again. There is no victory, mate, without failure. Craig, 2016. You can take that one. God. That's a quote. Craig has turned into Donald Trump. Right, that on my team, Stone. <laughs> I'm not an Islamophobist. Anyway, <laughs> FA Cup. What is your <laughs> expectation for the FA Cup? Now, we know last season we went out. I got a lot of flack because I tweeted that, you know, I'd rather go for the league than, you know, be in that competition. At the, time, at the time, I don't think that was enormously unreasonable. I think it's always gutting to go out of the FA Cup, especially Spurs historically have done very well in the FA Cup and have been a bit of a yeah. cup side in the past. Yeah. Uh, but at the time, I thought you were harshly treated. That was another thing you said, you said off that. camera and I said on camera. Uh, you can't, for. You so, can't prove that. <laughs> I can't prove it, but can't we prove both that. know. Nope, didn't say it. Okay. Well, anyway, I got extreme flack for that, saying, you know, oh, I'd, I'd want to go Thing out to focus on the league, and we didn't even win the league. I, but I could have tweeted that as well, and no one would have said anything. You're right. So basically, <laughs> where do you think we're going to go in the FA Cup this season? What's your uh, I'd expect us. I'd expect to, it, Again, it's hard to say, because it massively depends on what's happening in the league at the time, and what we clearly what we're focusing on. Yeah. Um, I would expect us to get to the semi-final, or beyond. I'd like to see us get to the final. I'd like to see us win it, obviously. I'd like to see us have a decent cup run. I'd rather we did that in the FA Cup than the League Cup. Uh, and I'd like to see us get to the FA Cup semi-final. I think that's more than doable when you look at some of the teams who get there. Yeah. Some of the teams who get to the final even, and some of the teams who win it, I think it's more than doable to do that if we just actually focus on that competition for once. Especially given the amount of uh, big clubs these days who treat it a bit like a Mickey Mouse Cup and don't yeah. really bother. It'd be good. It'd be nice for us to get some silverware. We haven't had any for ages. Mm. I think, yeah, semi-final has got to be minimum. What do you think? Uh. Not as bothered yet again. <laughs> I, I want no. I want a trophy. I'm not gonna lie. I want a trophy, and I don't want a Capital One Cup because we. That is the only thing we've won twice in the last what since I've been alive. Um, but I, do you know what? I want to win it. I want to go for it. Yeah. I think final minimum. Yeah. I think final minimum. I think that's the only. Now that I'm thinking about it, I mean the Champions League, unfortunately, is unrealistic. There's there's much better. We're gonna teams. win that. There's much better teams in that competition than us. The League Cup. We've already done it a few times. I don't want that. We need to We need to take it up a notch. Yeah. We're not in the Europa. So we've got to go for the FA Cup. And I think anything less than the final, I think I'll be disappointed with, to be honest. The way we went out against Crystal Palace. The thing is, though, there's no awful. point saying that because if you get to the final, then you don't win, you'll be disappointed. So really, it's anything less than winning it, you'll be disappointed. Anything less than winning it, I will be disappointed, basically. Yeah. And especially since Wembley is our home next season. We're the only one. That is our re place of residence, OK? So really and truly, we need to for go a, there. Not for all the games, but yeah. It, it is for those we're games. We're the only yeah. Premier League team that's going to be occupying that place. Yeah. So really and truly, we should be, what, to have another team come and lift that trophy in our, our new Backyard. European home ground. Really, Reese? Really? <laughs> what I think fine, about fine, it? Fine, I'm fine. not having that, mate. And I'm not going to have, you know... A flipping manager. What is his flipping name? Mine's gone blank. Who are you talking about? Pochettino. Crystal Palace manager. Oh, Pardew. Pardew, there he is. How can I go blank like that? Doing the flipping samba <laughs> on the touchline <laughs> in our home grounds. What the hell? What's that about? Yeah, I don't want we don't all want of that. that. The only they won't be there again. That was a one off. They're not going to get Listen, there. The only again. person that should be doing any dancing in that ground is Poch. That's the only manager I want to do. And he only, definitely won't. The only gaffer I want to see. Are you sure? He's already told us in a press conference or a post match interview that he only shows passion at home. Whatever that means. We know what it means, mate. Ho <laughs> ho! Lad. Hey! Yeah. All right, so <laughs> the next thing we need to talk about expectations for the Capital One Cup or the League Cup, uh, whatever is sponsored expectations, by Expectations. Expectations. 
semi-final minimum again. All right. Uh, realistically, I'm not sure how much focus we're going to be putting. It's going to be a busy season, basically. We're in a lot of stuff. We've got the Champions League to think about. Oh, yeah. So I think he's going to rotate a lot for the League Cup. I think he's not going to play. He's not going to play a first team. I agree. I don't think semi-final. Though. I think we're going to go out a lot earlier. I think we probably will, but it would be. Yeah, I think we probably will actually. But. Get to a semi-final in the Capital One Cup, I'm pretty happy. Only if we finish top four and win the FA Cup or Champions League. Like that, the semi-final is like in January. Yeah. Way before. I don't know. I don't the know. The final's in like March. Yeah. It's so pointless. It's I'm not pointless. It's not pointless. It's still a trophy. It'd be good to win a trophy. It's a cup. There's levels to this. It's a cup. It's a and trophy, mate. And to be honest, we won it in 2008, we won it in 1999 when it was called the Worthington Cup. And that's the only thing I've seen and I don't really want to see it again for a third time, to be honest. I mean, obviously, if, there's, if there's absolutely... No, no, look. If, if, if there's absolutely nothing... This is the thing. If it was at the end of the season, like the FA Cup, then it would be better because then we could gauge if we really need it or not. But like in March, like really... No, 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 no. It, what, uh, excuse the pun. It would spur us on. If we already get silverware, it would be like, yes, we got one. Let's get the double. Oh, because that's, that's what let's they did get for Man City last season, right? They won it. And then what did they end up with? Yeah, but oh, that was wait, a bunch oh, wait, of... Oh, wait, oh, wait. Nothing. A bunch of 30-year-old egos who can't be bothered and their manager's leaving. What's the point in trying then? This is the Poch philosophy. Good point about Pellegrini leaving, yeah. This is about Poch. I mean, potentially, potentially, but... I... Group of young players, so hungry do you think for trophies, like Spurs business? win the double. Perfect. We got to the final two years ago while we was there against Chelsea. Yeah. And that was at Wembley. Do we really want to go through the upset again over that cup? Was that the final? It was the, yeah, we got to the final, mate. What was the Chelsea semi final where Asu got a glid off the line and it was. Uh, this was two years year, ago, year before. Capital One Cup final. Poch was there. I was there at the one we won with that Jonathan Woodgate scoring season. that header. And, uh, yeah. you know, it was an amazing feeling. So you wasn't at the one two years ago at Wembley? I don't know if I was. It was. No, we played in the Capital One Cup final. It was last year, 2015, mate. Oh, blocked in out March. How could you not, not remember this? Ericsson <laughs> took a free kick, hit the crossbar. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that, I was at that 5 1, and that was an absolute oh, okay. devastating right. experience. Well, like I said, we lost to Chelsea. And I was final. at the Woodgate final where we won it. Yeah. And that, what an amazing feeling that was. Keen, Berbatov, bunch of great players. Good lads, all good lads. Doing the hokey pokey and they turn around. Yes, exactly. Good times. Uh, well, do you I want to feel that, I want that feeling. No, no, if we win it, obviously I'm not going to not take it. I, but I really just don't uh, care about I'm the Cup One Cup. we got three Controversial other more... tweets again from Craig oh, Mitch and people I'm, are going to be kicking off. Because out of the four Cups, I want the least important one to just maybe not come true. You should want to win all of them, mate. Anyway, the last Cup, Champions League, mate. Yeah. Champions yeah, 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 yeah. It's not just a Cup. It's no. a league of champions. Yeah, fair somehow. enough. Um, it's not really a league, is it? League expectations of place for teams. Champions League. Expectations. Well, we've been to a quarter final. Yeah. Not that long ago. It was kind of long ago. It wasn't that long ago. Arguably, I don't know. I don't know if our squad's better. Do you think our squad's better now? I think we're a better team. We're a better team. And, and that's that probably the most evens important out. thing. It's a team sport. It's a yeah. tennis. Gareth Bale did do a lot of the heavy lifting when we got to that Van quarter final. Van der Vaart was also quality. Crouch didn't help too Crouch much. Crouch got sent off. Um, Adebayo knocked us out. Quarter no final again. At Real Madrid. Yes. Christ. Shocking. Quarter final again would be very nice. I think realistically we'll get knocked out in the round of 16. I'm going to go for quarters. Going for quarters? Yeah, I just feel like because we're that team that's not always in it, we really just give it a go. We really just go for it. And I think a lot, a lot of those teams don't play against us a lot, so they really don't know, they won't what know what's expect. going on. Yeah, maybe. I, I, honestly, I think we we could do well. We could, get, who, we could get to the quarters. Who do you think will get furthest out of the Engl English clubs? Leicester. I, I feel like... <sighs> it won't be Leicester. Who's it going to be? I think Leicester will win it. Leicester for the Champions League. You heard it here Where first. Odds of 5,000 to Man 1. Man City got semi-final, right? Yeah. Mate, if Leicester go that far, Absolutely. I wouldn't think, mind that. I wouldn't so, what do you that. think? Are we going to be the? Are we going to do the worst out of the English no, clubs? I think we're going to do the best. I think we're going to do the best. Yo, suddenly you think we're going to do the best? I think, do you know what? I think Leicester's going to go out. I think Man City's going to get to round of sixteen. Arsenal awesome. never make it past round of sixteen. They no, never make it past don't. round of sixteen since uh, I don't know. Uh, since you had a different watch. 
Let's have a G-Shock. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> Times change. Oh, my, oh, how does that What that? Casio F91W, water resistant. Yeah, I think, gonna, I think we're going to make it further. So I think we're going to get to the quarters. Um, quarters would be very nice. Yeah. I think we're going to do well. We're probably going to get knocked out by the likes of like Boss or, or someone. Whatever. Boss or at Wembley. Oh, be my great. God. It'd be good. But get, yeah, at get into the quarters and get in a massive team would be amazing. <sighs> be, oh, just amazing anyway. Messi it? versus, yeah, versus Alderweireld. <laughs> oh, I can see it now. <laughs> Oh, come on. Quite man. literally. Family show. Anyway, guys, <laughs> this has been our friendly preseason debate. Let us know in the comments below what you, your expectations are for next season. Where do you think we'll get in the league? How far do you want us to get in the FA Cup? How far do you want us to get in the League Cup? Is it important or do you not care like me? Uh, the Champions League, how far do you think we'll get in there? Quarters, you know, round of 16. Let us know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop it a like. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to Spurred On. And guys, keep it casual. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurverts. It's me, Craig Mitz, joined by Reese James. How's Hello. it going? Not too bad. How are you? I'm good. All right. So on this episode, we're going to be talking about the Champions League draw. They've announced a date for it. Uh, the preseason starting next week. 